What is going on everybody and welcome to the setup of your Jets Integra K1 dev kit. The first thing you're going to want to do is boot this thing up when you get out of the box. So to start, um, I guess the most friendly thing to do would be to go to some sort of a desktop. So to begin that, the first thing that we're going to want to do is actually turn this thing on. Now, uh, let me pull over my camera. Now if we look at our Jetson Tager K1 dev kit, here it is. Um, the power is going to be plugged in uh, right here. And then we also have an HDMI slot right there. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and plug those things in and um, we'll boot it up on one of these other monitors. Now I will just say uh, eventually we'll remote desktop and also use SSH and I can use a pretty screen recorder. Uh, for that, but until we get everything fully set up, I can't do that, so I'll have to put the um, webcam over here, and it'll just have to stare at the uh, screen for a little bit, but hopefully it won't be too big of a deal. So anyways, um, what we're going to go ahead and do is plug this in, so I'm going to uh, plug in the HDMI and plug in the power. Now, before we get started, uh, I suppose it would be helpful to explain um, just a couple of these buttons down here at the bottom. If you look at your uh, quick setup manual that they gave you, they're there, but otherwise you can look at this. Um, so this is your board, okay? And this button here is your power button, this button is your reset button, and this button is your force uh, recovery button, okay? So, emergency, <laughs> okay? Um, I'm frozen, and please turn off, basically. So. Um, so those are those, and anyway, now I've got this plugged into my HDMI, plug in the power now, and uh, let me situate the camera so it's facing uh, the screen that it'll come up on. All right, hopefully that'll be good enough. Uh, so now I'll go ahead and plug it in the dev kit now. And as soon as you plug it in, the fan should start spinning, and... Uh, you should have a green LED light. You'll start seeing all this stuff whizzing by. All right, so once you're at your login screen, one thing you're gonna need is a USB keyboard. Once you have that, uh, the username and password is both Ubuntu. So Ubuntu and Ubuntu. I might have mistyped that. Okay, once you've done that, uh, you'll want to be in your home directory for sure, but uh, we are by default. And if you want to check, just do ls, make sure you've got NVIDIA installer. What we're going to want to do is change directory into the NVIDIA installer. So cd into NVIDIA installer. Now, once you're there, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to run this installation script, which is going to extract and install the Linux driver binary release for us. So we're going to go ahead and run sudo dot forward slash installer dot sh uh, password. And you should have it uh, start extracting stuff now. And whenever this is all done, all you'll need to do is reboot, and that should have a desktop come up this time. So it'll be similar to like Start X on your Raspberry Pi. Okay. All right. So now that that's all done, um, I'm guessing we can just do oh, no. uh, sudo reboot. That reboots us. You probably could have also used the reset switch. All that stuff flies by. Blah, blah, blah.
will be patient on this one. <coughs> And up pops your Ubuntu desktop. So now you've got a nice graphical desktop. Now the only uh, problem is I only have this single USB slot, so we only have the capability uh, for now of my USB keyboard or my mouse. Now, a couple of things. One, I didn't really buy this to go to a desktop at all, so that's not really the biggest deal. But also, uh, you, so we can also just SSH into this, right? And we can also probably do a remote desktop. And um, so besides those, the other thing too is you can, they make USB splitters, so we could do something like that as well. So anyways, that's the bare basics to getting your uh, Taker K1 dev kit set up and to your uh, desktop. Some of the other topics that we're gonna be covering is remote, access to it both via SSH and then also um, via remote desktop so you can actually see this exact desktop. Um, also again you can just get a splitter. So anyways if you guys have any questions or comments feel free to leave those below. As always thanks for watching, thanks for all of the support and the subscriptions and until next time.